guys what's up it's the chinchilla notebook here and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be on a video that i really think would help you guys out a lot because a lot of people struggle with this and it is how to build trust with your chinchilla so throughout my videos i've left like little pieces of information on how to bond with your chinchilla but building trust is a little bit more difficult something that is mostly up to the animal because every animal is different and some of them are more friendly like Merlin was really friendly and open with me right off the bat but some of them take some time to open up and my first chinchilla was really shy and really scared of me he didn't trust me at all for years and I don't think he, at, he like towards the end he started to but it was just a really long process and I did a lot of things wrong so I just wanted to make this video to help you guys with your chinchillas and just know that it is a process that could take a few days or weeks or months or even like a year so um it's just different for every single chinchilla so without further ado let's just jump right into the video all right guys so i'm gonna actually clean the cage as i make this video and i think that might work but if i start to get too distracted then i'll just focus fully on the video the first thing is to be together in a private small place with your chinchilla and this is probably one of the greatest bonding techniques that i have for you guys because it really just forces a chinchilla to be in close proximity to you and to get used to you. So what you can do is if you have a small room where you keep your chinchilla cage, you can do it in there. Like I used to have it in the laundry room. Um, but if you don't, like for example, I'm in a room right now where it's kind of big and it's like a kitchen area and a dining room area. So it's not really a small space. So what I would recommend doing is getting a bathroom or even a bathtub. Like what I used to do with Merlin is our, my bathtub has like these glass doors that close so I would just get in there with him and I left like a hut in the corner so that he could hide if he needed to but basically it just forced him to be really close to me at first I'll just be honest like he was really scared and I felt kind of bad because he was just uncomfortable he didn't really want to be that close and like it was just it was kind of scary for him but um it really forced him and once he saw that I wasn't gonna like grab him or hold him or anything I just let him be and it really forced him to just get used to me don't put your chinchilla in a small space with you and then try to hold them and pet them and grab them just kind of sit there with them quietly and maybe just watch them you can talk a little bit so they get used to the sound of your voice but mainly it's just them getting used to your presence and learning that they can trust you and you're not going to do anything to hurt them and a small space is one of the best ways to do that the second tip is to use treats and this is actually kind of controversial some people say not to try to train or to bond with your chinchilla using treats but I actually think it could be beneficial because what it does is it associates your hand or just you in general with a good thing that they're gonna like so for example Merlin like really likes goji berries and every time I come around and shake the box he gets excited and he knows what that means you use treats just occasionally and get them associated with you with a good thing it's gonna help your relationship with them and one thing to remember is that chinchillas can have their health affected by eating too many treats so I would only feed them about one or two a day at the most um, I usually feed Merlin a few treats a week I would just be careful with the amount of treats you give them don't just continuously feed them during playtime or when you're seeing them because you're actually gonna be doing more harm than help for their health but treats is a good way to get them associated with you with good things and to build trust and especially if you make like a sound with it, for example, I have my treats in this little container and if I shake them, he knows that that means treats. Alright guys, so this next tip is a little bit weird, but it actually is pretty helpful too and it is to lay down on the floor with your chinchillas. So what I mean by this is when you are out for playtime, and I mean like this in a bigger place, not a small bathroom where you can't lay down, but just like get on the floor and basically just you can lay on your stomach or whatever. Basically, what this does is it just brings you down to their level and they're a lot less intimidated when you're just flat on the floor. And Merlin actually loves this because he'll just like crawl right on top of me and like just run around. He'll hop over me. It's actually really cute. But um, what this does, is, like I said, it just brings you down to their level. It just makes them a little bit more comfortable with you and not quite as intimidated. So I definitely think that this is a pretty good tip for you guys. It is a little weird, like I said, and you might be a little bit like hesitant to try it but it really works this next tip is to don't touch your chinchilla every time you open their cage doors so especially in the beginning this is really important that you do don't do this if every time you open the cage doors and you your chinchilla knows you're going to touch them he's going to associate you with discomfort he's going to associate you with invading their space 
and he's not going to be comfortable with you. He's not going to trust you. So I would recommend that at least six times out of ten, open the cage door, but don't touch them. So you can open it and go fill up their food bowl, sweep around. Um, obviously, you're going to be next to them, but don't like reach out and, you know, touch them. And same with filling up the hay or something, or just like opening the cage doors, maybe just leaving them open and just like talking to them a little bit, but not like reaching forward with your body or anything like that. And if your chinchilla comes to you and wants attention, that is a different story. Obviously, give it to them. That means they're beginning to trust you a lot more and you want to help that along. But don't always just open the cage and try to touch them. And I still have to learn this with Merlin. Like, obviously, he knows now that, you know, he likes me. He comes up to me. He literally just ran away. But I promise you, he does kind of like me sometimes. He just associated from the beginning that he's not just going to have me touching him and, and only opening the cage door to grab him or hold him. Um, otherwise, he would have been really scared. And that's what kind of happened with my first chinchilla. We were, I was also younger, me and my brother were a lot younger. We would like put our hands in the cage and grab him really roughly and that we did that every time we opened the cage door. And he just learned that we were not to be trusted. He learned that every time we came near him, we were going to like make him afraid. We were going to terrorize him and, and hold him badly and uncomfortably. So it's just really important that you guys keep this tip in mind. And even if you've owned your chinchilla for years, don't don't like invade their space don't make them uncomfortable because you can always lose your chinchilla trust the next tip is to keep loud people or children away from them this is especially important when you first bring your chinchilla home because them transitioning into a new home and a new environment and new people is a very tedious thing you want to make sure that you are giving them proper time to adjust at their own pace and not forcing it upon them. They could get very easily scared and mistrusting right off the bat depending on what you do. A major part of this is keeping loud things that are going to scare them away. And for me, like it's hard for me to even leave children around Merlin. I do not trust anybody. The only people I trust is my mom and myself, honestly. I do not trust anybody else with my chinchilla because it just scares me. They don't really know how to act if Merlin just quickly runs away or if they jump out or if they bite them. And I don't know. It's just, it's really hard for me to... I'm just very protective over Merlin, honestly. I don't want anybody touching him besides my mom and myself because we're the only ones who really know um, what we're doing. And as far as his caretaker too, when I'm gone, she usually knows what she's doing as well. Just keep loud people and children away because they're going to scare your chinchilla and they're just going to be very scared of humans in general, especially if you're next to the cage as well and he, this kid or this person just grabs him or, or yells and scares him and then he just sees you next to the cage and he's going to be like, whoa, so you're associated with these people, especially when you first get your chinchilla. And I know for some people it's hard because it's exciting, everyone wants to see your chinchilla, you may have little siblings, but just really stress this and, you know, just politely tell them, hey, look, I know you want to see it, but right now is not a good time. Or just tell them if you want to, you have to be really quiet and basically treat it like a sleeping little animal. Next thing is to spend a lot of time with them every day. This is really obvious, but this is a, this is a really important thing to remember is like, just take this as an example. Like if you and your friend never hang out and you only see each other like once a week, your friendship is not going to be very strong. And that's the same thing with your bond with your chinchilla. If you are only spending like a few minutes with them every day, first of all, that's not very good for their health or their social interaction. Um, even if you have two chinchillas, they still need a good social interaction with you, but it's also not going to be maintaining your relationship with them. In order to build a strong bond, you're taking it upon yourself to spend a lot of time with them. So, preferably spend hours as much as you can. Just spend like a lot of time with them, especially when you first get them. But also, now, like, if I just stopped hanging out with Merlin, and sometimes I go on vacations for a long time and I come back and he's just not as open towards me because maybe he doesn't recognize me as much or he just doesn't feel comfortable with me whatever the case last thing is pretty obvious but i just thought i would say anyway and that is to be patient with your chinchilla these are animals you cannot control what animals do as much as you would like to you can't and you can't control their personalities either and how how long it takes them to open up to you you can do things to help that along you can do things to bond with them easier and have them trust you more 
but ultimately you cannot control them and that is really important to remember I have people sometimes send me messages and they're like I've tried everything I'm doing everything right and she's still super wary of me and I really don't even know what to say to help them out because they are just animals at the end of the day you can't really control them so just be patient with them be kind to them still don't get frustrated with them and then just block them out or just be done with them and want a different chinchilla just be patient and understand that they all have different personalities there are some chinchillas that will be wary their whole lives and some that will be really friendly their whole lives i hope i got my point across in this video i filmed this video before and it was really well filmed but i lost the footage for the longest time and i just decided to refilm it. And remember, if you are trying to build your chinchilla's trust, just take it day by day and don't lose hope and just have patience and just know that everybody goes through the process of new chinchillas and it's kind of hard, but um, you can build their trust over time. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Different material, way before the iPhones, Twitter, Gram, socials. I'm talking about next tail chirps, boost mobiles. Back when